Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota Today. We have a very special guest joining me this morning. North Dakota Tax Commissioner Brian Krocious is joining me to talk about our state's tax credits. Welcome, Commissioner. Well, thank you. It's good to be on. Yes, it's great to have you. So we're really talking mostly about the Homestead tax credit, correct? Uh, that is correct. Uh, during this past legislative session, lawmakers expanded the credit, mm -hmm. so more individuals in the state 65 years of age and older would be the criteria, are now eligible to get a credit. And it's really a deduction from their property tax values, which then equates to lower taxes uh, in terms of what they pay on the statement. Definitely. So can both Let's say that you live in a household with two people. Can both people apply for this or just one? Uh, it's one, one credit per household, mm -hmm. and it's based on household income. So when we have two individuals in a household, typically, uh, or at least oftentimes that is the case, the threshold in terms of the income is $70,000. And it used to be 42000 but that really opens it up to many uh, more households in the state. So hopefully they'll take advantage of it. Definitely. So you said that this was expanded during the 2023 legislative session. Is this a goal to really have taxpayers pay less? It is. It's a goal. Uh, right now, the state's in really good shape financially, mm -hmm. and hopefully that'll continue. But uh, the best way to, to uh, apply dollars uh, to keep, it's really to keep them in the economy. So, and the homestead tax credit was a part of a bigger, pro uh, bigger package. Income tax was lowered as well, the rates. Mm -hmm. And then a primary residence credit was also uh, moved in as well as a part of that package. So quite a bit of savings, about a half a billion dollars over the next several years for North Dakota taxpayers. Wow, well mm -hmm. yes, that is impressive. So let's say someone is interested, how would they go about applying for this? Uh, there's different vehicles, mechanisms that they can utilize on the homestead tax credit. They can either work with their county, the county that they're in, or they can call us. We're always there to help at the North Dakota Tax Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, the primary residence credit, we're still working through that. That will be through our website, uh, North Dakota uh, Tax Commission, Tax Department. And then the income tax is really something that just uh, takes care of itself, the withholding rates were reduced, so uh, hopefully people are seeing that reflected in their paychecks. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a tax credit that we've been discussing. What's the difference between a tax incentive and a tax credit? Uh, a tax credit is something that's going to reduce the taxes a person has to pay, reduce the obligation. Uh, incentives are a little different. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, as the word uh, suggests, uh, they're in place to try and uh, bring in new types of business, uh, to expand existing businesses, things like that. So the incentives really are to help drive economic growth uh, primarily, and then again, the credits, that's, that's something that reduces the tax burden on citizens, which is always a good thing. Definitely. Well, I definitely agree. Who wants to pay more in taxes? <laughs> right, right. So th there can be good news with, with taxes in this past legislative session. Uh, it was a historic uh, figure, over half a billion dollars in relief, and that doesn't happen every session, so mm -hmm. it was good to see. Absolutely. Yeah. So what other types of credits would you like folks at home to know about that they can apply for? Uh, those really are some of the primary ones that are out there. Uh, we'll have more information on the primary residence credit coming up. Uh, the income tax, again, that's really a, a self, uh, uh, it, it takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. So we've got that. Uh, but if they have questions on the homestead tax credit, they should certainly get a hold of us. We also have a renter's refund. Okay. credit that uh, lower, lower income households can apply for. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're always there. Uh, I, people can go to our website. They can certainly call the office. Our office will walk through their per, uh, particular situation, see what's out there for them. Absolutely. Yeah. And you are the North Dakota Tax Commissioner. How long have you been in this role? I have been in this role now for one year and just a little over seven months. And prior to that, I was at the Public Service Commission for five years. I bet it's exciting being able to be in this position and seeing legislation being passed like this. It is. And to be a part of the policy discussion itself, we're a resource not only to citizens, but lawmakers when they're in town. Uh, yeah, and I saw a little bit different angle as a tax commissioner versus public service commissioner. Mm -hmm. But working with lawmakers and the citizens, bringing everything together, and we had some real positive results this last time. It's, it's a lot of fun, it's exciting, and 
and uh, they, people say taxes can't be fun, but I, I think they can when when we're lowering the burden on citizens. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's yeah. Good. They're fun when you're saving money. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely. So one more time for our viewers, how could someone find out more information or possibly get in contact with your office? Uh, call us directly. We're always there uh, to help. You can go to our website and you can do a, a quick search. We make, make these types of programs pretty prominent on the site, making it intuitive mm -hmm. for someone to, to uh, log on uh, or get into our particular website. So. Uh, but the easiest uh, way, frankly, if they're not sure, pick up the phone, call us on the Homestead Tax Credit, as I mentioned earlier. Call the county that you're living in, and they'll be able to help as well. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining me and telling us about that. Yeah, thank you for the time. Really appreciate it. Of course. Coming up on today's show, we are adding some positivity into your Monday morning with North Dakota Nice Blog.